सकते हैं हम बट ग्रैंडपा वाई यू नो दैट आई हेट हर ग्रैंडपा थे यू नो दैट आई हेट मैन यू टॉक अबाउट हर बैटली थे हम ओके आई अंडरस्टैंड बट डोंट यू थिंक यू आर आस्किंग फॉर टू मच ग्रैंडपा नो आई एम नॉट आस्किंग फॉर टू मच इफ़ यू नीड मनी देन यू विल हैव टू मैरी हर थे ग्रैंडपा आई एम जस्ट आस्किंग यू टू गिव मी मनी एज लोन आई विल रिटर्न इट टू यू वेरी सोन ग्रैंडपा यू जस्ट हैव टू चॉइसिस थे मैरी हर एंड टेक मनी और डोंट मैरी हर एंड ऑल्सो फो कर अबाउट द मनी थे यू ओके आई विल थिंक अबाउट इट ग्रैंडपा यू जस्ट हैव टू डेज डे आई नीड यूर आंसर बाय टमोरो थे यू वट वाई सो रश ग्रैंडपा आई वॉन्ट यू टू मैरी हर एज सोन एज पॉसिबल ना यू शुड गो एंड या थिंक वाइजली टेकिंग अ डीप ब्रैथ ही कॉट अप ऑफ चेयर एंड वॉक टूवर्ड्स हिज बेडरूम वाइल ग्रैंडपा वॉज स्टेयरिंग एट न थिंगनेस Mother's beauty. Wayne was just eleven when her grandpa died. After the death of her parents, her grandpa raised her from the age of seven. The young grandpa and Wayne's grandpa were best friends. They were not brother by blood, but they were more than that. They always supported each other in ups and downs of life. But suddenly, Wayne's grandpa died from a heart attack. Her father's side family never liked her because they wanted a boy. and her mother side family wasn't ready to take responsibility of her so the young grandpa took her with him he always liked my aunt because she was his best friend's granddaughter in the beginning the young also liked my aunt because he was the only child in the huge mansion he used to feel bored until my aunt came in his life but slowly he started hating my aunt because he thought his grandpa loved her more than him his hatred towards my aunt increased day by day He started to bully her every time he got chance, but Wayan never said a word to Grandpa. But one day, Wayan was going to her room when the young pushed her from back, and losing her balance, her head bumped into wall. That day, he wasn't lucky. Grandpa saw him pushing her, and it made him mad. He growled in anger, "You, how dare you push her!" Grandpa slapped him in his face in anger, but the young's hatred for Wayan increased. Wayan immediately came in between the young and Grandpa. Wayan, Grandpa, it's not his fault. I lost my balance and fell. The young was fuming in anger already, but watching Wayan telling a lie, he shouted, "Don't try to fool me! I'm not gonna fool by your fake personality, liar! Such a liar!" Before Grandpa could say anything, the young walked out, giving her a death glare. Grandpa, are you okay? I saw he pushed you. You should have told me earlier that he bully you. I thought he just don't like playing with you, but I never ima- imagined that he can bully you. Why, Grandpa? He's just mad at me. He's misunderstanding me. Grandpa, oh my innocent child, you're such a lovely girl. I made a decision. I'll send him abroad for study. Why? But why, Grandpa? Please don't send him abroad," she said wordily. "Grandpa, I won't change my decision, and don't worry, he will be back once his study is complete." Wayne opened her mouth to say something, but Grandpa raised his hand, indicating her to stop. "Go and sleep, Wayne." Nodding her head, she went to her room with heavy heart. Within a week, Grandpa sent the young out of country for studies. Wayne was sad but couldn't told Grandpa, and the young didn't say a word to Wayne or Grandpa. But he was hurt by Grandpa's decision. After five years, the young came back, but his hatred towards Wayne was still rooted in his heart. As soon as he came back, Grandpa offered him money because he knew the young badly wanted money to invest in his business, and no one else can give him that amount he needed. But Grandpa's condition was the thing which the young never ever wanted to even think about. but he had no other choice the young spewy i already hate her because she deceived my grandpa and just because of her i spent 5 years away from my family she deceived my family but i am not a fool i entered in her room angrily she was standing in front of mirror lost in her thoughts watching my reflection in mirror behind her she flinched and turned back i must say she was gorgeous Her beautiful big brown eyes can make anyone hypnotize, but not me. Her lips were soft and pink. 
her black hair in short she was beautiful but for me she was just a deceitful woman i saw her blushing and looking straight in my eyes i wanted to throw her out of my house but i couldn't theo stop staring me i shouted and she again clenched when i i'm sorry theo you are still the same trying to deceive other for your benefits you asked grandpa to force me and so i will marry you right why no you are misunderstanding me theo shut up i know your real face why they trust me theo remember one thing why i will make your life miserable you will regret marrying me why i will never her words made me confused why she said that it means she was the one who wants to marry me that's what grandpa is pressurizing me i hated her even more next day the young told grandpa that he is ready to marry wyan hearing him grandpa's eyes lit up by happiness grandpa i knew it but i hope you will treat her right she lost her whole family after marriage she will be your responsibility the young i can't say anything about it grandpa the wedding was held in the mansion's lawn because wyan wanted it to be very simple with less guests that's why grandpa just called very few family members and friends wyan was looking breathtaking in the white gown and theong also was looking really handsome in his white tuxedos after the vows they exchanged rings and the then priest announced that theong can his bride he looked at grandpa and he nodded his head heaving a sigh theong slowly placed his on hers she closed her eyes her red soft lips were looking really tempting theong didn't realize when soft turned into deep one everyone clapped and then he came back in his senses wyan was blushing and theong was ignoring her done with the wedding grandpa told them to go in their room theong was about to leave alone when grandpa called him theong she is your wife now take her with you without saying anything he came and held wyan's hand to take her with him I am really I was really happy I know he hates me but I love him I love him for the day when I first met him we were child but I liked him from the first day everything was good between us but after the death of my lovely grandpa the young grandpa adopted me in the beginning he treated me really well but suddenly everything changed he started bullying me but I never hated him I never told grandpa about his behavior from the past 5 years i was trying to see him but when he came grandpa forced him to marry me i also was shocked at first but it was my dream to be his bride and finally i was with him in his bedroom as his bride i know i'm selfish but i never was i became selfish just because of my love for him i was standing in the middle of the room thinking what i should do when he came near me and taking off his ring he handed me the ring I felt my heart stopped beating. Why he took off our wedding ring? Is he going to end the marriage? 